is my multi-monitor setup on my kitchen table. I pulled this guy out of the back room, dusted him off. I'm going to teach you a few things about multi-monitor and why we use it. So right now I have a laptop. Let's talk about some hardware first. Laptop and monitor. Now you're going to need a desktop, two monitors, or a laptop, and a second monitor. You, this monitor, this white one, is running on this blue VGA cable. Okay, My laptop has an HDMI and a VGA connector. I'm going to pull this out. You can see. See that? It's usually blue. Good news is most modern laptops, actually I believe all of them, have the option to do multi-monitoring. You cannot, you cannot plug two external monitors into one laptop without doing some funky stuff, okay? So that's really not supported. Not all desktops do, especially if you're buying uh, one of those HP something somethings that are just stamped out and real cheap, you might not have the ability to multi-monitor. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to multi-monitor, okay? So, Windows 7, Vista, and XP, you right-click on the desktop, you head down to Screen Resolution. XP, it will be at the bottom that says Properties. Okay, so we're going to left-click on Screen Resolution, this is what comes up. This is the layout of our screens. I'm going to hit Identify to find out which screen is what. See that? 1 and 2 correlates 1 and 2. We can change where the monitors are in relation to each other software-wise, okay? Physically, they're in this layout, right? And software-wise, they are also in that layout. But I can change that. Just click and drag, and I can software-wise put this second monitor on the other side of it, okay? Sounds kind of confusing, but here we go. So instead of moving this way, I have to move this way, right? Why would you ever do that? Well, it depends where your monitor kick is kicking around, okay? You can also put it on top. You can put it on top, you can put it below. Whatever your layout is, it will accommodate, okay? So I'm going to leave it just like that. We're going to hit apply. Okay, we have a drop down here that tells us what we're going to do with the displays. It says duplicate these displays, extend these displays, show desktop 1 only or desktop 2 only. Okay? So if I were to duplicate these displays and hit apply, this is what comes out of it. Okay? They're exactly the same thing. The laptop looks a little bit stretched because the resolutions are different. I move one, the other one moves. It's just duplicated. This is good for showing Showing people, uh, if you're at an office environment, just flip your monitor around. You can show them exactly what you're doing. Now, usually, you're going to do the extended route, okay? So, duplicate these monitors. No, we want to go extend these displays. Now, what this does is it kind of gives you a sidekick. I know, right? Ego boost right there. Gives you a sidekick. One monitor acts as the host, and the other one acts as a slave or a sidekick. So if I need to throw a screen around, I just click, drag, chuck a screen around. Okay? Pretty easy stuff. Make it full screen, drag it out of full screen, bring it back. Now this is great because it's going to give you double the real estate. It's going to let you do two things at once, if not more, and you're not going to have to juggle screens around. Right? So I could even light up this YouTube video on my channel, awesome. let it run, and I could do some work over here. So don't try and game on it, it's just not going to work. Other than that, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Drag, let go. Drag, let go. Pretty easy stuff. You want to go full screen on Windows 7, just drag it up, snap. It goes right to full screen. So multi-monitoring is right for you. Get some hardware. If you have any questions, let me know. Other than that, like, favorite, comment, possibly subscribe. Get your mom to subscribe.